Looks like you're staying there, buddy. Thomas? Shit. Did you lose my hug? It's definitely not here. That is my hug. Happy birthday. April is the best month to have a birthday. Happy birthday to you too, Grandma. Okay, okay, don't overdo it. Oh, don't you mother me. You're just jealous you don't have our birthday. And is that a tip? Okay, happy birthday. And no, you are never too old to be mothered. And yes, fate is bent on getting it put together for Girl Scouts. Yes. Okay, okay. Where is Buddy? Buddy is resting. We're going to have so much fun today, Jay. Did you hear that? Hear what? Like someone speaking? Like Thomas? You mean Dad? Whatever. Why are you staring at me? You seem different. Different? Good different? Bad different? Good. Why does that sound like a question to me? I'm just trying to figure out where all this energy is coming from. I mean, I haven't seen you squat like that in a long time. It's a good day. It's alarming. You rather me act like a cripple on my birthday? I'm just saying, with everything that's happened, you have always needed your breather, especially in Its time. name is Buddy. And of course, you sent her to grab Buddy? Yes, I did. You've needed it for a while now. It's a good day. Don't read so much into it. Well, I am glad that you are having a good day. And with all this Girl Scout stuff coming up tomorrow, you are going to have your hands full. I see. Y'all brought the tent so she could practice. Oh yeah, but she's soaking it up. Now, if you get too overwhelmed or tired, or <sighs> please don't hesitate to call. I give up. Have a good day, Mom. I love you, honey bun. Even when you pry. Mom. I love you too. Have a good day, okay? And text me a picture of the tent when you finish putting it up. I want to see it. Okay. okay. See you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thomas? Are you really there? Or am I just hearing things? Alice, it may be a little boat. Why are you talking to me, Thomas? I want you to know that. That's not the only thing. Is it? Grandma! Shit. 
What? Oh, I said sweet, dear, sweet. Jay, you and me are going to have the best birthday ever. Lots of sugar and sweet. Baking, makeup. It's okay, Grandma. I know you didn't say sweet. So, Miss Double Digits, what else do you know? We can take it easy today. We don't have to do all that stuff you said. Oh, boo. It's your mother getting to you, isn't it? No, ma'am. It's not. I'm only a day older than I was yesterday. And I'm older, but I'm not too old to enjoy a birthday. Now you let this old lady worry about that thing over there and you focus on being 10 years old and having a birthday. But I don't want to make you tired. Good thing I saved up a lot of energy just for today in particular. And I intend on having a great birthday. Really? Can we have cookies? I have something even better. I have cupcakes. And we can eat in the living room too. Gives your eyes a bit of pop. <laughs> Should I call mom? No, no, no. Don't call mom. But you've been down there for a while. Well, come join me. Your grandpa gave you that bear. I'll keep him for as long as I can. Hmm. What happens if it gets ripped apart beyond repair? We'll find someone to fix him. No, I mean, you've had him for so many years, and he's been nothing but a faithful companion. So I guess it would be hard to lose something like that. Um, I'll always remember my bear, but I'll forget Grandpa. I can't even remember him that well to begin with. Well, memories doesn't go away just because you lose something. All the good times me and my bear had together? Something like that, kiddo. You and your bear have a lot more living to do. So, if you can help me and Buddy up, you can have French toast for breakfast in the morning. What about the tent? Leave it for someone else. You are amazing, kiddo. You okay, Grandma? Can't sleep? Just don't want to go to sleep for a little while longer. Did you have a good birthday? I did. Did you? It goes in the books. I want you to remember that you had really had a good birthday with me today. Okay? I will. See you in the morning. See you then.
about half an hour before he woke up. We have something to tell you. My mom, your grandmother, she passed away. Paramedics say it was sometime last night. She was sleeping, laying on the couch. But she was right here, staring at me. I don't understand. I, I thought she was better. She said she was fine. I know, Jerry. And she told us the same thing. That apparently there was a reoccurrence with the cancer and she just didn't want us to know. Don't know if I want to wake up. Afraid of losing what I found. How you feeling? Sad. She's a was an amazing mother-in-law. I bet even better grandma. Hey, kiddo. Grandma, why can I hear you? I told you, a connection doesn't vanish so easily. I can hear you, but dad can't. Am I going to die or something? <laughs> oh no, Jade, you're completely fine. Apparently a little different though. Why didn't you tell us about the cancer coming back? Forgive me, Jay. I wanted to enjoy my time and our birthday. I want you to be strong for our family. And can you do me one more favor? Okay. Jay, why are you shaking? Dad, maybe you shouldn't smoke right now. She wouldn't like it. I think Grandma would want us to have French toast, though. I'll get Mom. Mom, I, I think we should get breakfast today. No, honey. I have to focus on the funeral and calling everybody and letting them know. I talked with Grandma. Grandma wasn't scared yesterday. I don't think she's too far away from us either. I hate that she did that. I'll get the pancakes and we'll get you the French toast. Mom wouldn't want us crying, at least without eating. I'm gonna have to let her make those phone calls. Mm -hmm.